So could you tell me why you came to Hong Kong to show part of your collection? Why is that? We do a lot of business in the Asia Pacific region. Japan, the PRC, and more broadly here in Hong Kong. And you can't have a history of economic development without talking about what's going on in Asia Pacific. You know, China is now the number two economy in the world. The same rules are applying in the art market. And if you look at where Asia Pacific was 10 years ago, look at where it is today, Asia Pacific is increasingly becoming the dominant factor in the art market. And it's not just because... But the, is your collection about the art market or about, no, or about collecting? <clears throat> Our collection is really four different legs to the stool. The 12 post-World War II artists that we've collected in depth, our old master pictures, our Renaissance and Baroque bronzes where we had the show at the Frick, and now a number of emerging artists in their 30s and 40s, many of them women, mm -hmm. particularly in the United States, but any number of uh, artists in the Asia Pacific. But you speak about the art market, so collecting an art market is something different, right? Do you have a, do you, do you have a, do you want to sell? No, this is my foundation and they are very different. As a collector, I'm trying to see where the future is going. In other words, who is making great art and then how people are actually thinking about the art. Mm. And if you look at, from my standpoint, the history of how great collections are put together. I mean, look at what was going on in Egyptian times with convergence of science, technology, advancement. What was created there when Alexander the Great arrived in Egypt? You know, he said, we thought we were advanced. But we are far from China, 21st century. I would like to know, to understand, why you bring your collection in Hong Kong now? Very simply. If you look at where essentially Christopher Wool is in his career, Christopher is widely understood in the United States. He's widely collected and understood in Europe. Yes. If you look at where Christopher Wool is, he's in some collections in Japan, some collections in South Korea, but and he, some collections here in Hong Kong. But he is not really understood in the context of abstraction. So it's kind of... Uh, this is education for me. Exactly. It's a name of education. It's to education. Bring... That's what we're going to do with our foundation in New York when it opens. Yes. We were talking about Peter Marino before. Peter has designed a building. We have two floors in the building in New York on 24th and 10th. And one key component of our foundation is gonna be the educational side. So it's a preview of the opening it's, next September? Yes, it's a preview. We have, uh, you know, in September, all of our Christopher Wools, which are gonna be shown in New York. Merci.